Hello, Tigers. Roger here. How have you been since we last saw each other? Can you tell I'm feeling like a cool cat today? Well, except I'm not a cat, obviously. I'm feeling the good kind of cool. The kind of cool that makes me feel like it is possible to teach an old dog new tricks. I'm not saying I'm old, of course. Let's just not do that silly dog year math with my age. I mean, who came up with that seven dog years for every one human year anyway? Maybe I'm feeling this way because I went for a ride in my human's car this week. Of course, I have to sit in the passenger seat or in the back seat. The only time I can get into the driver's seat is when the human gets out, even for a minute, and then I jump into that front seat and pretend that I am taking a road trip somewhere fun and far away. I pretend I drive straight to the dog park where I jump out of the car and I run towards my friends. My friend Buddy the Lab, Fergus the Pitbull, Shiloh the Poodle, Peppy the Chihuahua, Frank the Spaniel, and Dolores the Shepherd. I imagine that it would be in slow-mo, like in the movies, with beautiful music. All my different breeds of friends and me finally seeing each other and playing like before this virus thing kept us apart. But then the music stops. I think about all the ways that I will be a good friend when we get back together. I will be cool, but in a cool kind of way. I won't take their toys, bark at them, or forget my manners and chase them. When I get to be back with my friends, I am going to be the same Roger I was before this quarantine thing, but only better. I've had some time to work on all my friendship skills with my dog brother Mojo. I've even practiced with my cat brother Muddy. And trust me, that took a lot of courage and coping skills, because he has claws. We will soon go back to parks and malls and school. It might look different than it was. It will probably feel different after all this time away from each other. Who knows? But there is one thing that I know for sure. I want to show my friends, and even those I didn't know were my friends yet, the best side of myself when I get to see them again. I want to be cool, but cool in a way that includes others, that helps and takes care of others. I am now a dog who will never forget that when I get to run in a pack again, it will be with my friends right by my side. All of us cool, because we are together. Remember, we can handle rough stuff, and we are cool when we are kind to each other. See you next week. Hi, Tigers. Thanks for coming back to Counselor Time. I like what Roger had to say about being cool is about being kind. And that made me think of a book, because we're both feeling cool today. It's called The Cool Bean. Let's read it together. The Cool Bean, written by Jory John and illustrated by Pete Oswald. Watch out! Here come the cool beans! The Cool Beans Oh yeah! Check out how they move. Look at how they swagger. Notice their sunglasses. Yow! The Cool Beans are known all over school, from house to house, across town, beyond county lines. In the olden days, last year, we were all one big pot of beans. We were a mixed bag, but somehow it worked. Yep, those were the good old days. And then we stopped seeing each other as much. That's just how it is sometimes. You spend less time together, even though you're not totally sure why. <sighs> I watched as the beans I knew so well, the beans from my own pod, became the cool beans. Oh, they were so cool. One of them could play the guitar. Cool. One of them could draw the best superheroes. Coo cool. One of them could jump higher than any bean I'd ever known. Coo hoo cool. Me? Well, I mostly stayed the same. Sure, I made some small changes. I wore sunglasses. Too big. I slicked my hair back. Too slick. I strutted around. Ow! I swaggered. Oof! I was still picked last for everything. My clothes never seemed to fit. I snorted when I laughed. I walked into stuff. I was an uncool bean for sure. I started thinking of myself as just a common bean with no special skills. I couldn't compete, so I didn't even try. 
I'd never be a cool bean. It seemed like there were two types of beans in the world. There were the cool beans and the beans like me. The days all blended together. I lived my life and things were just okay. I took tests and ate lunches and mostly kept to myself. The cool beans continued being cool. I mean, sure, I miss them. A bit. But it's not like I was going to say anything. I felt like all that coolness had gotten in the way of our friendship. And that's how it went. Until one day... I was in the cafeteria. I dropped my lunch on my loafers. Oh no, not again. But then something sort of miraculous happened. Out of nowhere, one of the cool beans helped me clean it up. He didn't even say anything. He just gave me a nod. That was it. Later, I was out on the playground. I tripped and scraped my knee and maybe cried a little bit and everybody saw it. Another one of the cool beans came to my side and without a word, he dusted me off. That afternoon, I was sitting in class. I wasn't really paying attention. I didn't notice, but our teacher had called on me. Everybody stared. I sat there in silence. Nobody said anything. And then, then, everybody just laughed. At me. That was it. After today, I was officially a has-been. <laughs> But then one of the cool beans stood up and came over to me. Everybody watched. She leaned in close and whispered, Hey, the teacher asked you to read from page 32. Then she gave me a quick wink and went back to her seat. It was a small gesture, sure, but it was also everything. I walked home with a goofy smile on my face. I smiled all the way through dinner. That day made all the difference. It was a day that could have been really bad, if not for the kindness of a few cool beans. It gave me a shred of confidence. That shred of confidence has continued to grow. Somebody had my back. Or a few somebodies. After that, I started hanging out with the cool beans again. How have you been? Get it? How have you been? Not all the time, but sometimes. At lunch, after school, even on weekends. Throughout all of this, I realized that it's not about how you look or any of that other silly stuff. It's about a wink or a nod or a smile at just the right moment. It's about dusting somebody off, helping them up again, and pointing them in the right direction. You need a hand? Yes, please. Now that's cool. I like that story. I like how the bean realized that being cool is not about what you have or what you um, wear. It's really about how you act towards others. And he noticed that in his friends, who were really still his friends, but they showed him that with their kindness. And how he, at the end, really realized that being cool was about being kind. And he showed others that, which meant he had more friends. So I'm going to work on my friendship skills. We are going to be back together soon. And I want you to work on your friendship skills so that when we're back together, we are ready to include others. We're ready to say nice things to others. And when we're back together, we're going to be cool because we're kind. So Roger and I are going to work on that together because obviously we're both cool right now too. So working on those friendship skills makes us cool. See you next week, Tigers.